Good morning. I'm doing this one in response to a request from my brother-in-law, Scott. Sent me an article that uh, is talking about how Taco Bell is being sued. Uh, the lawsuit is based on uh, claims that Taco Bell only has 36% beef in their beef tacos. And the FDA requires you have 40%. Uh, so they're being sued. Uh, and then it talks about the fillers that are in there and all this. And uh, so he said, I might want to check it out and, and do a thing on it. Well, here it is. Uh, I ain't going to knock Taco Bell. Ain't no way. I like Taco Bell. I don't care if it's 5% beef. I don't care if that chihuahua is in there. It tastes good. I have never, ever gotten sick on a Taco Bell product. Have you? And it's inexpensive. It's quick. It's very tasty. And I like it. That's all they are to it. So I ain't going to knock them. Uh... I've been in a lot of uh, uh, restaurant kitchens. Now, if you ever go in there, you in for a surprise if you pay attention. It looks really nice, but you get looking around, you're gonna find mouse traps back under the, you know, under the little cabinets and everything, because they got mice in there. Uh, one of the uh, nicest Mexican Tex-Mex restaurants uh, in Dallas. Uh, in fact, there got to be several of them. It was really growing, you know, turned into a pretty decent chain. Uh, we worked in the restaurants. We worked for the owner and uh, at his house. And uh, when you went in his kitchen, he had bug zappers Boop! to pop those mosquitoes. Well, they'd get flies as well. That's what they were for. If you had food scattered out all over your kitchen, you were cooking from early in the morning till late at night every day, you're going to have a vermin problem. That's all they are to it. Flies and mice and whatever gonna get in there and so you gotta do something about it nothing nastier than food and that's i don't care if it's jack in the box or or Chez pierre you know they all got the same problem so i ain't gonna knock taco bell i got some devastating news just a couple of weeks ago our nearest taco bell up here is a 100 mile one-way trip that's a 200 mile trip for a freaking taco so i have to make them myself you know unless we're just going there and it just tastes better when somebody else does it i mean we all know that uh but in ashland only 45 miles where i go to class nearly every day taco john been there since i know it's been there better than 25 years because i've been coming up here that long and they are a fixture of the community it's also a chain and uh Really good tacos, and I don't like it as much as Taco Bell, but close to it. It's, it's just really, really good. They out of business. Huh. A couple of weeks ago, big sign on the door that said, uh, we are closed, and there's a big for sale sign on the building. It seems they failed their health inspection so miserably, they made like 15 out of 100 is what was, what was said, that it wasn't worthwhile for the owners to try to fix it. My God. That's devastating for me. You know what that means? I'm back to a 200 mile round trip. <sighs> Boing, guess what? The closest Taco Bell is a 100 mile one way trip and people up here love this stuff. Taco Bell, you guys ought to buy that building. It's ready to rock. Move right in. Make old simple happy, what do you say?